Hello everyone, welcome to your pick a card reading. So today we're going to look at how you'll know that this is the right person for you. We have four cards here. I've chosen each one of these cards intuitively for you. So I will not look at it until we start each pile reading or card reading. So thank you so much for being here, you guys. Uh, please just take a little time to choose this card, however it is you choose intuitively. Whatever card you're feeling, go with. That's the one you roll with or however you like to choose. If you'd like to choose two, cool. Whatever, whatever feels right for you. That's what you do here, okay? This is a timeless reading, so let's get right to it. I will put timestamps down below for you guys. All right, here we go. This is card one, card two, three, and four. So take a little time, choose your card, and I will see you at your pile. Bye. All right, you guys chose card one. So before we flip this card over and read it, uh, please just take whatever resonates with this reading, however it does and what you're willing to accept from this reading. All right, pile one, let's get started. You guys have romance here, beautiful. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. This is how this person is going to be with you. Pawan, this person is going to be so romantic when you guys are dating or getting to know each other, building that bond. Uh, truly, this is how you're going to connect. This person is going to be very giving. You guys might like to go out and dance. That could be how you meet this person. Um, but there's a lot of affection, a lot of affection, a lot of love, a lot of attraction here, uh, really just being swooped away in that kind of romantic energy. This is how you'll know that this is your person. This is the right person for you. So let's get into some tarot here. All right, let's get more about this person for you. All right. Let's see. This person is going to give you a lot of affection. It's almost like you guys are going to want to be together every day and just uh, do fun, exciting things, right? That kind of energy, it leads to romance. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Wow. All right. Pawan, this person isn't playing. There is so much emotion here. Uh, it's really all about feelings. This person is very romantic. Uh, when you meet this person, Okay, or some of you who might know this person now, this person is very loving. This person is really good to, it's like it's easy to talk to them. This person loves uh, to be in on what's going on with you, your thoughts, your feelings. This person loves to express how they feel about you, uh, express the good time they have with you. This person will also be very open with expressing uh, the things that they want to do with you, they want to have with you. This person is also, you're going to feel like this person likes to to um, kind of take care of you. It's like they, they're they just very careful with how they love you. Uh, again, they love to lavish you with affection, uh, emotion, connection. Uh, you're also going to feel like this person might catch feelings kind of quick here. Uh, definitely a lot of emotion here. This person might fall in love uh, hard here. For some of you, <laughs> it might be like, whoa, it's like it's, it's really hard, really heavy. Uh, you know, it's something that's going to happen kind of quickly here. I think this person is going to develop feelings very quickly for you. Pow one. It's like they're just hit. They're hit by that lightning bolt of love. They can't help it. And it's only going to make them want to romance you even more. There's so much romance here. Okay. So expect flowers, uh, expect 
kindness. Expect this person to, again, want to express and want to know how you feel, want you to know how they feel. There's That's all here, but it's very strong and it's very genuine. So this might be how you feel about this person. Like when you're first getting to know them, that their emotions, their um, feelings for you can be kind of overwhelming in a good way, but it's very intense. Okay. Uh, some of you might also feel like this person loves to talk a lot. Okay. They love communicating to you. It's going to be what you think about this person. <laughs> so let's get more here. How will Paul one know this is the right person for them? Okay. All right. We have the Emperor, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Fool here. Okay. You two are really going to connect when it comes to knowing what you want and going for it. Because you're going to like this person. You're going to be attracted to this person. And instantly it's like it's a mutual thing. Both of you are going to be on that level with each other and go for it. Uh, and this is what's going to like really bond you two together here. You two are also focused on security, uh, having a little bit of independence, not relying too uh, much on one person uh, is really important to the two of you, but still making sure that you both can enjoy each other, enjoy time, enjoy having fun, doing new things, of keeping that love, keeping that affection. All this is really beautiful. You two are really going to be focused on security and building a lot together, working hard, but also playing hard. Okay. Also, you two love to just have fun. You love to do new things and be spontaneous here. I feel like laughing a lot is going to be really important here. They're going to have a really good sense of humor. And this is something that you appreciate. This is something that you look for, but this is something that really is going to keep you two together being responsible, making sure you both have the security that's needed, working with each other and going for what you want. It's like you two aren't afraid to conquer things together here, going to make it happen. You two are going to really support each other and protect each other. And it's going to feel like you two can overcome anything. You're not afraid. You don't shy away from from getting in things or getting your hands dirty or digging, you know, going into the unknown. It's like you both kind of are there. So it's almost like sky's the limit with you too. When it comes to building what you two want, you guys are definitely on the same page there. That's what's really going to like, you know, really connect you two together. A lot of fun, a lot of laughs here. Okay. So let's see. Both of you are going to be very attracted to each other. Let's see. Mm, there it is again. Making sure you have security. Uh, you two are going to be very smart when it comes to certain choices you make. When you two have something that happens where you both feel differently about it, you both are going to look into certain things. It's like this page of swords here. You two are going to make really responsible decisions here, even when you don't agree. And I feel like you guys are going to have like patience with each other to make the right choice, but you're making it together. Very strong connection here with how you two are going to move forward and take opportunities together and keep just flourishing. There's going to be a lot of happiness here. You two really being, um, again, just um, 
having comfort, right? That lavish lifestyle, just comfortable, very comfortable with what you work hard for. And that's important to both of you. Being very smart together, having patience when obstacles arise. I see that here. And it's all about making sure that you two stay connected with how you're moving, with how you take opportunities, with doorways opening for the two of you for this connection. Beautiful strength here and responsibility. You guys are going to be very logical when there are certain people or... Um, obstacles really that come in the way here or that come up it's all about being logical and smart together this is the strength here yeah yeah you guys take your security very serious and you want to make healthy decisions together a lot of patience and hard work here between the two of you beautiful strength here you know, you guys are really going to put in not only time, but it's like you're doing things the right way here when you look at certain things. Beautiful. Yeah, very careful with the path that you two go down. You guys make it together. Which is nice because it's not one person making all the decisions or thinking they know what's best, right, for both parties. No, this is about both of you looking into things, being practical, being smart about what you two know is important and going to make both of you comfortable and happy and not letting anyone come between that. Okay. We have the four pentacles here. Now, let's see. We have the world, the hermit, is there strength again? <laughs> okay. What you two might have to look out for when it comes to this person, pal one, is someone here holding on to cycles that are unhealthy. But again, it's like what it comes back to is looking into things, really searching, finding the way, being very smart, strength here still. I feel like what the two of you, the obstacle that you, that you and this person may have, Paul one, is again, uh, when it comes to taking action, there might be someone who wants to hold on to certain things that might not work out. So it's like finding that way where you can end it, uh, making that smart, clear decision together uh, to get out of cycles that aren't bringing any benefit to the connection to move forward to what's new, to move forward to what's next. But there's still a lot of patience and time here when it comes to obstacles and you still have strength. So again, uh, really sky's the limit with you and this person. You two are going to be really good at working through things together. Yeah. passion, wanting to go ahead, wanting to move forward. I think what's also important too is letting go of certain things that either you or this person knows they need to let go of because certain things have been happening over and over and over. Now it could be certain people in their life they've been in cycles with that they might need to separate from, isolate from. This might be something that needs to be addressed here or something this person has to overcome. Yeah, holding on to unhealthy cycles. But they still have the strength to overcome it. So let's see. Let's see what we get here. Pound one. Okay. 
Seven of Wands, Six of Cups, The Magician. Okay. Comes back to choices for this you and this person, Paul One. Yeah, I see a lot of you really working through anything that really does happen that would make you too confused or put certain obstacles in front of you. I feel like this is a relationship that is going to be successful because not only is there going to be a lot to look at and a lot that you guys are accomplishing cycles that you that either you or your person will be ending to move forward to keep going to that success because you both want it. Uh, you too will end up stronger, uh, more bonded together, knowing that you both are fully capable and working through what you want with that magician energy here. Uh, yeah, very successful. You two are going to be very supportive of each other. Okay. Through the journey with each other. Beautiful support here. Looking into options, making sure that both of you are clear when it comes to those choices, when it comes to moving forward and not holding on to any cycle or anything that's holding you back or your person back or the relationship back. There's beautiful love here. Again, more expressing the I love you's, the good feelings, good news here. Uh, really, this relationship has, I mean, boy, does it have the legs to have something that's going to stand and be beautiful and be legit. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is a strong power couple here. A strong power couple that's going to make sure they are going down the same direction together. They're going to, you and this person are going to stay focused on your happiness. That's what I get here. I mean, it's really good. Definitely a successful connection here, full of happiness and support, strength, and love. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So it's beautiful. So let's get some uh, oracle cards here. Let's see what we get. I feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears that you'll leave me for good. So this person is going to be uh, a fighter. They are going to want to make this work no matter what. There is a lot of fight here, pal one, and being able to work through certain things. Even if you or your person have certain triggers, uh, this person doesn't want to lose you. That could be the fear here, fear of losing you, fear of not having their love or their partner, the one that they have that strong attraction, uh, affection, devotion for. This person wants to work through anything. When things get tough. Let's see. I'm praying you'll come back after everything that's happened between us. I worry that you won't forgive me and allow me another chance. This could be someone that you know, uh, someone who you've been through a lot with, but still have a lot of affection for. This person still has a lot of affection for you and they don't want to lose you. I can't fully be there as long as this other person is in my life. I know it's hard for you, but I have to go through this experience in order to heal it. That could be the, the cycles that this person may have going on in their life. It could be a person. It could be a mother. It could be anybody, any friend. There's some type of cycle here that this person might have been dealing with for so long, protecting, holding on to, but they're going to have to realize that they need to release it and uh, to fully move forward because they are going to be focused on you and they do love you, but there is some type of tie here. So you would definitely know that this person may have a certain unhealthy tie. Could, again, remember, it could be a friend, it could be anyone. And you're going to know, you're going to see, okay, it's like you're going to see how this person is and uh, know that this person isn't, uh, it might not have the best intentions of your person, but it's like they're going to have to realize that and address it. And they are going to realize, but they have to deal with it. They have to heal from certain things first. Okay.
dealing with karmic ties. Okay. I daydream about you. Sometimes it's sexual. Other times I visualize our future together. That Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to be with you. This person dreams of a future with you. Uh, this person doesn't want to be without you. Uh, when they have that feeling of not having you or if there's something that happens that kind of separates you two for a minute, a minute, a little bit of isolation, this person isn't going to feel good without you. They're going to want another chance. They're going to want to fight for you. This person always thinks about you, dreams about you, has you in mind when they're making certain decisions. Let's look at the bottom. Karmic ties again. I'm assessing past life wisdom. It's helping me understand with new perspective. Yeah, there's definitely an energy here of this person. There could be someone who tries to take advantage of this person because they're kind, because they're giving. Um, and they're going to have to realize this. And you might have been the only person to tell them the real deal and help open their eyes. But it has to be on them. They have to have that moment where they're healing from a lot and ready to not hold on to this cycle. Even if they want to move forward, they still have to let it go. And it's going to take a lot of contemplation. That's how you'll know this is your person. But there's still strength. This person is very strong and they'll do it. They just need to assess. They need to think. They need to get it together. But they'll find their way. Beautiful strength here. Okay. This is a very strong person, Pile One. Let's see. Get more into their, more insight into their feelings for you. Okay. You have a way of making me feel loved. This is how you lavish this person. You love them, give them the attention, the affection like no other. They feel it differently with you. Let's get one more. You make this person feel very loved, very cared for. Oh, okay. I am grateful for your honesty and openness. You definitely have their back. Helping them be aware, helping them see certain things, giving them a lot to contemplate on and think about. That support, right? That support. It's coming both ways here. Okay. forbidden love yeah there's some type of tie that someone needs to let go something they're not seeing here something forbidden something you might have talked about with this person you were very honest to this person about a situation about a person and they're going to know that this person this cycle isn't healthy for them they're going to let go they're healing assessing processing thinking deeply here and even more so about you so let's get more about this person okay this person is here for love this person is here to love you they're here to lavish you with affection attention love romance so the two of you, beautiful. 
stuck together. Always wanting to be together. You have a way of making me feel loved. I'm grateful for your honesty, your openness. Helping each other see things differently. That's how you'll know. Very giving, very loving, very romantic. I have a gift for you. This person loves to uh, gift you certain things they know you're going to like. This person may like to surprise you. Okay. Let's get one more. Okay. Could be an ex-lover here. You know, this could be someone that you've just had an experience with, but maybe you've kept in touch. You remained friends and nothing uh, really more ever became of it. Yeah, but this person wants it to. Uh, this person has deep, deep feelings for you. Love for you. Heartbroken if they don't have you. Heartbroken if they're separated from you. Afraid they don't have a chance. They won't have another chance. Okay, so for some of you, even if you two weren't actually officially together, but you had fun and you were enjoying each other, there was a romantic connection. This person wants more. Let's look at the bottom here. This person is older than you. Okay. This person is older than you for some of you. Let's get more here. Okay. How will you know this is the right person for you? Pile one. Okay. This person is a very hard worker. Okay, you might uh, meet this person from work. They could be a coworker. Their initials B E J Y R W and U. Okay. Let's get one more and we'll look at the bottom. How will you know? Oh, oh, there we go. Look at that. There's that intelligence, wise, smart, observant. And what did I tell you about that emperor energy? Knowing what you want. They know what they want. And this goes back to how you two bond. It's going to be that, that fire attraction connection. You two know what you want and you're going to go for it. And it just happens to be each other. Very smart though, too. Very smart and observant with what's going around. That's going back to some of you who are going to see there might be a certain person uh, that your your person knows and they, they're they not right or there's something about them. Going to help this person see certain things differently. A karmic tie here. Very smart connection. Loving connection. Affectionate. Okay. Beautiful. On the bottom, you will know this person will be emotionally available open, honest, and ready for love. I am grateful for your honesty and openness. Very open. You two are going to be very open. Talk about a lot, right? That digging into each other's feelings, desires, wants, fears. That's what's here. You two being emotionally available for each other, supporting each other in all of those ways. Pow one. It's beautiful. All right, let's get, let's get some more here. Let's get one more. How will pile one, oop, okay. <laughs> How will you know? This person could have a rebellious side. All right, there's someone here who has a rebellious side. This person might like the color black, wears black a lot. Uh, <clears throat> rebellion pessimism so again really there's there's this energy of supporting each other uplifting each other whether you're getting a little pessimistic they're getting a little pessimistic it's like you two keep each other up keep each other strong keep each other supported here anything is possible okay anything is possible with you two sky's the limit that beautiful color black okay all right so Pa one, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, pal two. Welcome. You guys chose the second card. 
So before we pick up this card, uh, I will pull some Oracle cards after uh, we dig into this card here. Uh, please only take what resonates, makes sense, and fits for you and what you're willing to accept from this reading. All right, you guys, let's see what we have here. We have physical touch. A tender touch means so much. So this is going to be a very sweet uh, tender person. This is how they're going to love you. This person is going to love physical touch with you. Uh, <laughs> a lot of PDA here, uh, really just wanting to be close. I think it means a lot to this person, just you holding their hand, giving them a caress. This person loves that. Uh, this means a lot physical touch. Very sweet person, very sweet, um, relationship here okay so let's get more let's get more into uh how you'll know how you'll know this is the right person for you let's see let's take a look We have the magician, the hanged man, the world, the queen of pentacles. All right. So I feel like you are going to think that this person is very talented. This person likes to think they're a thinker. They like to think about things they do before going forward, before jumping in. They're very smart. Uh, they like to be aware of certain decisions they're going to make when it comes to being successful, having success with you. Um, you're also going to think that this person is very, going back to that touch, that tenderness, uh, very nurturing here, very caring. But this is someone you're also going to feel like they do a lot of different things. Like they might have um, a lot of skills here. They're very good with their hands. They're very good with building. <laughs> This person might have a green thumb as well. Like they like to garden. Um, but this person is very caring. And I think you feel like this person is so talented in many ways. A lot of you are going to feel like this person is the type of person that's just full of success. They can do it. Like they're good. They're, this person's going places. Uh, you guys might get that feeling uh, from this person here. I feel like a lot of you two are going to think this person is in their head a lot with their thoughts, the way they think this person is a thinker. And I think you're going to be like, hey, like calm down a bit. It's not that big a deal because they're going to be re they get in their head. This person does get in their head a lot. OK. And it might be your touch, your affection. OK, uh, giving them a little TLC that kind of kind of snaps them out of it because it means so much to them. Yeah, that could be a thing here. Let's see. King of Cups. Three of Swords, Queen of Wands. Okay, so where you two are really going to bond, Paul two, it's the feeling you have for each other. How much you truly appreciate a relationship and take it serious. You both have had your share of heartbreak, pain, and it's like you two are going to acknowledge it talk about it you two also are going to be very clear with wanting to have fun wanting to be clear on uh, what you want what they want here but very loving towards each other okay um so it's not just all just love and t tlc and tender touch and nurturing in that way uh you both are really going to clearly move forward here some of you are going to move forward kind of quick and just want to take action you two might fall in love kind of quick here with each other 
but definitely understanding loss, understanding heartbreak, and not wanting to go through it. I feel like both of you have really looked at yourselves, looked at everything you've been through, and have a different view when it comes to love, when it comes to uh, learning to, you know, uh, kind of have the shield up to where you can protect yourself when it comes to love. Both of you are going to be right there. And I think you two are going to bond. You're going to bond on having fun, excitement, but also the appreciation to be responsible and take care of someone's heart in moving forward here. That's really going to help you to feel more comfortable to express more emotions, love, feelings, desires, and move forward. Your communication also is going to be really strong with this person. I see you two having fun when you communicate. It's exciting when you two communicate. It only wants you to uh, wanting more, wanting more of each other. Yeah. Choices too. Here is really important. Like you both want the same things. So it's like you both kind of are going to look at, <laughs> you guys can hear the neighbor's dog. You both are going to look at options together, but it's like, it's what you two want as far as looking ahead. You know, like, do you want a family? Do you want to get married? Like you two are going to get that straight from the gate, like right away uh, and communicate effectively here. This is what's going to keep you two bonded together, how you two are really going to bond. Communication is going to be really good between the two of you. Let's see. Okay. All right. more into this bond how will you know this is the right person for you pile two okay four of swords tower knight of wands knight of cups beautiful ten of cups on the bottom okay you both are going to keep each other relaxed and comfortable here Okay, when certain uh, things happen that you can't control, it's not in your control, it's not in their control, how you two deal with chaos or conflict, look at that. This is the Knight of Wands. Both of you have so much uh, uh, appreciation and desire uh, to really protect each other here. No matter what happens, any unexpected events, the two of you are going to make sure that you both stay grounded, that you both stay calm, that you that you have the relaxing, uh, you know, energy that you need, pal, to really. It's like if this person sees that you need a break or you need to rest, they're coming in like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, you need to rest. I got you. Like, don't worry. Don't stress. We'll work it out. We can't help it, but listen, we'll work around it. That kind of energy here. This is what's going to help this relationship continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And with all that, with all the things that do happen, that do come up, the two of you are still uh, really showing that love to each other and being there, being able to express fears, how you're feeling, what you want to happen here but also having a lot of harmony together, happiness, beautiful happiness between the two of you. This is what's going to keep it going, being happy. Even when things get crazy, it's not, it's not even, it doesn't have to be things that they're doing, you're doing that make things crazy, just life in general. You two are going to be solely focused on keeping each other happy, calm, peaceful this person is going to be very protective you are going to be very protective as well whatever storm brews whatever whatever monkey wrench is thrown in between the two of you you guys are going to be ready and look out for each other to make sure that you're good mentally emotionally Physically, this is what's going to keep you two together. That's that's the beautiful strength here between the two of you. 
Happiness. Okay. Let's we'll see. We have the Hermit, the Emperor, Ace of Cups. We have Death here. Okay. Now, there could be some obstacles here, pile two, of someone isolating. Okay, isolating from either having uh, too much control or when things are just too, almost too rigid or controlling here when it comes to the relationship. I feel like there might need to be uh, more conversating here about changes that are going to happen, changes that need to happen to where you you both can kind of be on the same level with how you're going to protect each other. Not one person making uh, big decisions here. So this person might like to take charge, take control. All right. And that might be something that either you will want to address with them uh, to really make sure there's a good balance here with that. Yeah. That could be an obstacle. change here in how someone tries to take charge, take lead and do everything or, you know, <laughs> take control of certain things. All right. That might be something here that needs to be discussed. It needs to be talked about. It needs to change. Okay. Let's see. might also isolate again if they don't get their way but it's like they're just trying to be the protector right they're just trying to take lead take charge make sure that things are going to be okay let's see got the five of swords let's see king of pentacles Ten of Swords, and there's the Ten of Cups again. Okay. So this connection is going to be successful, but I feel like the, what's important here is that the two of you really look into things together. That's the balance here that's needed. Uh, someone who, uh, yes, wants to be the protector, wants to take charge, and that's okay, right? But, you know, there needs to be a certain limit. There needs to be a balance here. Uh, when you two really uh, provide for each other and show that kindness, that beautiful tenderness that we were talking about up here, uh, no matter what again happens, I feel like the two of you can move forward uh, uh, and balance things out, heal what needs to be healed to move forward, uh, to focus on your happiness together here. There is a new beginning here for some of you. With someone, someone may even feel defeated because certain things ended. They want to be able to provide that provider, that protector. They want happiness here. They want healing here as well. For some of you. They want a new beginning. Yeah. Yeah. For others, it's just really about truly being on the same team together, not being too defeated or feeling like when certain things happen that are out of your control or their control. It's all going to be how you two balance uh, and keep each other uplifted during tough times to move forward because there's always a new beginning here. But if that can happen, then yes, this relationship can and will be successful. There's a lot of happiness here. Let's see. Let's get some Oracle cards here. Okay. It amazes me 
when we say the same thing at the same time or finish each other's sentences. Beautiful bond here. Beautiful connection, Paul too. This person feels very connected to you. Telepathic connection. Reading each other's minds, feelings, wants. It's very cute. My heart is with another right now. I have to finish this karmic contract in order to be free. Yeah, there's an ending here. Someone feels defeated. But they want a new beginning and they want happiness here. Karmatized again. I've been giving my power away to people in my life. I'm learning to set boundaries. So there could be someone here. It could be a father figure. It could be someone in the family who's very controlling. All right. And this might be what they need to let go of in order to move forward and focus on their relationship. It's truly going to be an awakening for this person. It's something they're going to have to really transition out of because it isn't going to be easy. I feel this person is used to it. They've been around this person for, I mean, it, it's going to affect this person because it's something they really have to look into. They really have to look within themselves themselves to see what's happening but they're going to learn and they're going to really learn they need to set boundaries pal to okay that's how you might know let's see it's a lot about family here okay one more I want to know everything about you, but I hold myself back from asking. I'm afraid I'll get in too deep. Mm. There is definitely a lot of deep feelings here, a lot of emotion here. And this person's a thinker. Remember getting back to all in their head. They're all in their head. Their person thinks, your person thinks so much, too much. <laughs> And you might be that balance that calms that down. Like, stop stress, stop worrying. It's okay. Relax. Let's see. Let's get more here. How will Paul too? No, this is the right person. This person is exotic. You might meet this person online. This person could be at a distance, pal, too. Uh, this is someone different than you're used to. Could be overseas. Okay. Very different person. All right. Okay, we have hairstyles here. Tapered, buzz cut, short, cropped, fade with a part. Okay. This could be their hairstyle. They keep it short. Okay. Let's get two more. Beard and mustache. This person may have a full beard, goatee. They take care and manicure their beard. Okay, on the bottom here. Slow start, but give it time. Okay, this is a connection that's going to start off very slow. Getting to know a lot about each other. What's important. Likes, dislikes. Starts off slow. Hmm. This 
person has colored hair. This person is a Sagittarius. Black hair. I mean you no harm. This person is very sweet. This is going back to that tenderness. Okay. Being kind, thoughtful. <laughs> Wanting happiness with you. So let's look here. Let's pull two. Yeah, you two will be feeling about each other. How will Paul two know? Okay. You are always there. Wow. You are always there for me when I need you. Okay, let's pull one more. I love your passion and enthusiasm for life. So there's someone here who is very positive and loves to live life to the fullest, loves to have a good time, loves to just be happy, wants things cordial, wants things balanced between the two of you. And then there's this energy of always giving support. Someone feels so supportive. Like their person has always been there for them. When needed. This is how you'll know. Let's see. Get some more. have divorce love there's someone here there's someone here who might be need to get a divorce there's this comic tie the karmic tie they need to release first needs to be an ending here let's look at the bottom here new love focused on new love wanting new love there is a separation here So both of you might have been through this, been married, divorced, looking for something new. Let's get one here. Okay. Passion, courage, anger, color red here. This is how you'll know this is your person. You two are going to be very passionate with each other. There's a lot of emotion. For some, there's, there's, there's a little bit of anger here with a certain situation that they want to either break free from, they want to get away from, they need to look into, they need to really figure out what they're going to do and how to do it to take control, take charge here, have the courage to do so but always feeling like they're supported and you've always been there for them, but there's still so much passion between the two of you wanting to be together. Okay. Pile two. That's what I got for you. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell. I will see you guys next time. Bye. 
Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. Before we turn this card over, uh, please only take what resonates for you with this reading, what makes sense, okay? Uh, however it does to you, and of course, what you're willing to accept with this reading. So let's turn this one over. Let's see what we got here. We have forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointment. So you might know this person is the one for you when you continue or you have pile three, let go of all past ties, disappointments, letdowns, and you can fully move forward, right? That beautiful stairway up into a new beginning, refreshed, focused, ready, strong, your mind more clear and sharp. Because you are no longer letting anything of the past drag you down, keep you down. All right. Needing to forgive and move forward into that beautiful beginning. Now, let's see. Let's get into this person. How will you know this is the right person for you? Let's see. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, Eight of Wands, and Temperance. So pile three, there's a lot coming through about letting go of the past to move forward here. I think that's going to be really important for a lot of you uh, when it comes to this new person. Uh, this person is going to communicate to you, uh, make you feel calm, make you feel, uh, understand, really understand your need of healing and to let go of certain things, right? No longer feeling closed in, no longer feeling trapped. This is how you'll know. You'll be ready to release all heartbreak pain that you've had. No longer let it influence your next relationship in a negative way, even when it comes to picking certain partners, okay? Uh, this person, you're going to think that they're very uh, good at communicating and they. Um, this person has worked uh, a, a lot through turbulent times. This person understands that certain people, all people really have a past, uh, past of heartbreak break and pain, but they're ready to move forward. I feel like there's going to be a lot of excitement here too with this person. When you talk to them, a beautiful bond, a beautiful connection here. This might be the person that makes you comfortable to move forward, but fully comfortable here. Pile three. I hope that makes sense. It's like with this person, you're going to see that you are going to want to be open. Nothing is blinded here. There's nothing keeping you back here. This person's energy is very calm, very balanced. I feel like you're going to think this person also is very patient with how they uh, court you, uh, move forward with you. Yeah, this, this person is has a good balance going on. Okay, a very balanced person, very understanding person, Paul three. This is how you'll see them. Someone who's been through a lot and understands, but it's only made them stronger within. Some of you are going to be like, I'm so happy that I met you. This person's going to have this calming energy. Very balanced energy. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups here. This also might be someone that you've forgiven. You have a past here, but you chose to forgive and try to heal certain things with this person. Wanting a new beginning here. We have the Emperor, Seven of Swords, and Strength at the bottom. Ten of Cups. 
In this connection, pile three, what's really going to keep you two together is the love and affection that you have for each other, but wanting to keep each other safe, wanting to make sure that you communicate and you're not keeping things, things aren't being sneaky between the two of you. It's truly about being kind, gentle, and very open, showing love, showing compassion, showing understanding here. Not not being sneaky. There's no need to be sneaky here. This is what's going to keep you two really uh, together and help you to bond. Wanting new love, wanting a new beginning here. Going for it, being very careful. Expressing love here as well. A lot of emotions between the two of you. Definitely an overflow here of love and emotions between the two of you. I feel like you two are really going to want to protect each other from what you both have been through. Not that you're holding on to it, but again, it's just part of that. What you've been through is making you stronger in a way and giving you certain senses. So it's like you two are going to want to do right by each other, protect each other from what you have been through. That's what's really important here. That's how you two are going to bond together. Let's see. All right, we have the world, eight of cups, three of wands, knight of pentacles. Okay. You two are going to be very optimistic with achieving things together. If certain things are making you happy, you're not going to stick with it. You're not going to allow it. And this person is going to understand and be on that page. Again, they're not going to want to do anything that's going to hurt you. You too will leave behind what you need to leave behind. As long as it makes you two stronger and you two are continuing to move forward to what's next here. Beautiful possibilities. You guys are going to put a lot of hard work into growing, expanding together. There's a lot of patience here between the two of you. It's almost like you two have a lot of patience when it comes comes to what's important and the hard work here that you guys are putting in. This is this is the strength here. Definitely learned you both have learned so much from everything you've been through in your journey with love that you're no longer holding on to cycles. You notice them, you see them, you're going to avoid them, you and this person. If anything happens that could hurt you, hurt your person, it's like you both are gonna step in, take charge, protect each other and walk away. You're not going to deal with what is going to affect you too negatively. Nah, -uh, not here, it's beautiful. Waiting for beautiful changes, things to happen that you both are getting in motion from hard work with each other. This is your strength together. Being very clear, being very direct about your feelings, about your desires, where you two want to go, how you want to get there, and the work that's needed to be put in. But don't forget having fun either. You guys are going to have a lot of fun with each other. And there's a beautiful balance, a beautiful connection here. It just keeps moving up, forward, forward, forward. Getting things aligned, getting things together, being patient, patient with each other. A lot of understanding. This is the strength here between the two of you. So let's see. Queen of Wands again. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Empress. Okay. I 
there could be some really difficult choices here that you two might have to face together. Creating kind of a stalemate or a pause here to where it's like, again, that patiently waiting for certain things to happen to come in. I feel like that could be an obstacle between the two of you. Needing to make a decision here that's going to allow more growth here for your love, your relationship. Working together. Working together to work through certain issues that are coming up that cause certain pauses here. That's, that's the obstacle that you two might have to assess and focus on together. This will be how you know. Um, there could be someone here who, again, gets so caught up in having fun and wants to have so many things. Um, they either make things more difficult, pile three, or just, again, it just keeps things at a standstill, keeps things from growing. This could be someone they know. There's a third party here. Okay, someone that might need to be dealt with here, someone who can be very controlling, wanting things their way, a lot of feminine energy here could be, yeah, someone who's very stubborn here that could kind of make things an issue here. Three of Pentacles here. This is going to be the obstacle, but I don't see it stopping you two from moving forward. I see you two moving forward here. Big ways, making big decisions here, living together, marriage, being together, celebrating. Yeah, there just might be someone that either you know or they know who can be very controlling and likes to chime in and make things difficult here. The obstacle is not getting stuck in one position too long and not making a choice to move forward. Something could happen here to where it's like you two have an important decision to make here about what you want, growth. Let's see. So let's see. This is a hole here. Okay. Hermit, there's a lot to look into. A lot to look into and not to give up when times get hard. There's going to be a lot here that happens that's going to challenge the two of you in moving forward. But a lot of thought is going to be important. Putting a lot of thought into uh, certain choices here. Things you don't know to find out information. Get the information that's needed before making any decisions here. Going to be hardship here. But again, this card was at the bottom before you two are going to elevate here there's just certain things that are going to need to be looked into before making a decision but you both are so focused and committed here so will it be successful yes i just think that things need to be clear and need to be uh known and in the open and looked into this is how you'll know because this is what you and this person are going to want to do keeping that balance being very clear with each other so let's see, let's get some Oracle cards here. There's a lot that might not be uh, being seen here that needs to be. Someone might be uh, looking at something, um, I guess in the wrong way. They're not seeing what they need to see. So that's why patience is needed and time to really look into certain things. But this relationship is going to elevate to new heights. Let's see. One of us is sad or angry and it's creating an energetic match in frequency with one another. Stay conscious of this if possible. Try to help us elevate it. Yeah, I definitely see you two elevating through a uh, hardship here together. Just needing clarity to do so. Keep that balance. Keep that calm, right? Calm and emotions. Try to stay balanced. 
be patient with yourself with this person because it's like you both are on the same page at wanting to work through it together it's just there needs to be clarity first with certain decisions here but i still see elevation moving forward moving up these feelings overwhelm me and i become afraid sometimes i even run away so we might have someone here who tends to isolate themselves when things are getting kind of tough, when there's a lot of hardship going on around you and them. They want space. They want time alone. This could be a pattern of theirs, Paul 3. This is how they deal when they're overwhelmed. They want to be alone. They need space. They need time. Time to get clarity they need. We incarnated together to clear specific patterns from our ancestral bloodlines. Yeah, there's definitely a divine connection here between the two of you. You guys were meant to come into each other's lives. One more. When I let myself go deeper into thoughts of you, I can feel my heart opening. Yeah, this person loves you very much. I feel like the two of you have been waiting for like a moment for certain things to line up and have really been wanting to be with each other, communicate and, and work on healing and balance together, forgiveness. No longer holding on to past disappointments. Let's see. Someone could be sad. Someone could be angry from certain things that have happened. Past disappointments. But wanting forgiveness. Wanting to heal. Wanting to move forward. That stairway up to the new beginning. The elevation here. Okay. Short hair. Uh, curly. Bob cut, pixie cut, natural textured hair. This could be how you know. Let's get some more here. This person is muscular, fit. They love to work out at the gym. This person likes to eat healthy. They are very health conscious. Person likes to take action, be active. Let's see here. Okay. Again, nice legs, toned. This person may have a nice walk. This person may be tall, have long legs. Beard and mustache, full beard, goatee, and it's manicured. Okay. Let's see what else we get here. This person is watching you. <laughs> they like to keep an eye on you. Very protective. Oh, okay. We have brown eyes. We have introvert here, brown eyes. Let's look at the bottom. Oop. Okay, strong. Muscles again, this is definitely someone who likes to work out, someone who likes to be healthy, Pal 3. This is how you'll know. This person likes things to be calm. Even if they're going to be out with you having fun, they want it to be a relaxed, chill environment. Someone here might have certain ties they need to let go of. Okay, this person could be divorced, ready for a new beginning. Someone here may be divorced. Could be you, Paul Three. Let's see. Let's get 
two here. You have a way of making me feel special and valued. You always know how to make me laugh. This is how you'll know. Making each other feel special. Someone is really funny and loves to make the person laugh. Could be you, it could be them. Very funny. <laughs> okay. Let's get one here. What do we have here? Oh, okay. We have bridge here. There's a bridge that wants to be crossed, pile three. There's a reconciliation here. Someone who wants forgiveness, someone who might have done things and knows that they've made you angry. Uh, there's There's been a lot of past disappointments, but might come back at a time where you both have healed and grown and learned so much and really truly wants forgiveness for what they did. Um, there's a bridge here. Reconciliation. Water under the bridge. For some of you, this is a connection with history. Yeah. All right. Pal 3, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hello, Pal 4. You guys chose this card right here. Before we turn it over, please only take what resonates, fits, and makes sense for you and what you're willing to accept with this reading. And let's just get right to it. All right, we have slow down, pause, and allow things to unfold. So with this person, how will you know this is the right person? This is someone that you need to take time with. This is someone that you will take your time with. And I'm feeling like the more that you take your time, the more at ease you're going to be, the more natural it's going to feel. Um, the more warmth you two will have with learning about each other, crossing that bridge. Uh, look at the beautiful couple down there <clears throat> dancing together right there. If you guys can see that right under my finger, um, they're just really enveloped in dancing with each other. I feel like things need to unfold naturally here. You'll know this person is the one because you are going to take time. This isn't going to feel rushed. It isn't going to feel like things just take off too quickly. Okay, this person might also want to take their time, Pal 4. Letting things grow, enjoying each other. Enjoying all the feels, all the moments. Let's see. Let's see what we have. How will Pal 4 know this is the right person? All right. You have the Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands, Five of Swords, Two of Swords. Uh, your first, how you think about this person or what you think about this person, Pal 4, this is someone that you feel is going to be able to withstand a lot. Uh, this person is not going to give up, especially if you are going to want to take your time and take things slow. This person is very competitive. This person is very determined. They will take their time until you 
see what it is you need to see. You have the clarity that you need to be comfortable to where you either put guards down, blocks down, and you're ready to move forward, right? Allowing things to unfold as you're comfortable. Uh, you're going to feel that this person is really happy, positive, exciting, okay? Ready to move forward. I think you're also going to feel that this person likes to uh, take care of you in little ways. When you're tired, when you're stressed, this person likes to do little things to be there, that kind of warmth uh, and consideration here. This is how you're going to feel about this person. Let's get a little more here. Let's see. Empress here. Three of Cups. King of Cups. King of Pentacles. Okay. And at the bottom, the Three of Wands. There's going to be a lot of love between you two. I just keep thinking warmth. Of it. I keep looking at those candles on that card. And I just think that it's just warmth. Like the sexual energy between the two of you. It's just going to be... Uh, it, it's just going to give you those feels, those uh, warm, fuzzy feels. It just feels right. It feels good. You two are going to be really good at loving each other. There's not going to be an issue sexually here between the two of you. Uh, that is going to be very fun, exciting, and feel right. But again, after taking that time, slowing down, uh, I feel the two of you are going to have so much fun fun together uh, and flirt a lot here. There's going to be a lot of flirtation. There's going to be a lot of serious talks about feelings, about anything and everything about what it is that you two want with each other, what you want in life, the things you want to make happen. It's almost like your goals, uh, your excitement, your passion, and the wanting to really connect and love someone, being fully open and ready to love someone is what is really going to help you to bond and keep you two together. Yeah. You guys are going to be very kind to each other as well. Very thoughtful here. Very expressive type relationship. Sexually, emotionally. Very expressive. But you guys know how to have fun with each other. You guys know how to let loose. Especially when things are getting very stressful and you need a break. You need just time with each other. Let's see what else we got here. All right. For pal four. All right. We have the magician, queen of pentacles, ten of cups, knight of wands. Okay. A lot is possible here between the two of you. You two are going to be so passionate about each other. Nothing's going to stop. I feel like this person, you're going to know that you two are going to want a family. You guys are going to talk about it. It's going to be discussed. Uh, <laughs> in a way, it's almost like the goal. Like this person is going to want to take action towards you. Look at that. Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands. Nothing's going to stop this. It's like you two are just going to be full on taking action with each other. But it's all about having... That happiness, that warmth, again, children, family, growing in that way, making it happen. This is how you guys are going to maintain. If there's an issue, you both are going to see it and deal with it in the way that you need to deal with it. It's almost like you two are really going to take care of any issues that arise, not going to leave the other person feeling like they have too much on their plate, really stepping in and again, lightening the situation when it, when it can and needs to be, you know, lightened a little bit, lighten the load, because what's important for you two is being happy together. So no matter what happens here, no matter the confusion, fear, obstacles, the two of you are going to maintain a happy connection by the growth, the care, the time that you're putting in and how brave you two are with each other, making sure that you two are going to be together, not letting anything come between, dealing with whatever you need to deal with with that Knight of Wands energy here. 
So unstoppable in that way, really. This is your strength. The bravery, the passion, the desire to do whatever is needed. Even if it's not easy, even if it takes time, right? Slowing down. You two are going to keep pushing through. Because all that matters is you, this person, the kids you want to have, the family you want to have, whatever happily ever after looks like to you and this person, that's what you two are going to make happen. And that's the strength here. Doesn't matter what it is. Going for it. Look at that too. Here we go. As a team. Making it happen together. This is how you'll know. This is how you'll know if this is the right person for you. Let's look at some more here. Pile four. Okay. Got two there. Oh. Four of wands. And the hierophant here. Okay. Okay. Let's get two more. Let's see. A lot of stress. Yeah. So... The obstacles here that you two might have to face, it's when you guys are trying to expand, which you definitely are here, moving in together, taking that next step to marriage. Uh, what's important here is not letting all the stress, the planning and uh, everything that you have coming at you, family issues, uh, get in the way of you being able to celebrate your happiness and togetherness with this person. I definitely see that this person wants to marry you, wants to be committed to you. And you guys definitely, again, lightening the load here with that 10 of wands. So there is going to be a lot of tough times, some stress that you both are going to deal with when it comes to your relationship together. But as long as you two are smart and hold on, maintain, make smart decisions, make smart moves, stay connected with each other, how you really feel within your heart in making these moves, you guys can lighten the load. You guys can overcome the obstacles that you two will have to have your relationship, your union and celebrate together. Okay. This is how you'll know. It'll work. Okay. So now let's see. Let's lastly, look here. For pile four. Okay. Wow. Will it be? What will it be? What's the outcome here? Happiness. Seeing that way through, look at that, more happiness, more abundance, being happy, being set, having that reason to celebrate, lightening that load, staying focused, stay focused on what's important. I feel you two are going to be very dedicated to each other. This is how you will know. This is how it's going to be. A lot of hard work put in here. Right. Taking off that blindfold, no longer feeling suppressed, restrained because you two will have each other's back. Consistency here is going to be really important here, but you two got it because not only do you know what you want and you're going to go for it and you both love each other and care about each other so much. This is your person of fun, excitement and love. Communicating here is the way through communicating clearly to see that way forward. You two are going to be really happy together here and very committed, very focused. So yes, this is definitely going to be a successful relationship here. All right, let's see. This person is a hard worker as well. Let's see. Just remember to slow down. A lot of passion here. Just slow down. <laughs> okay. I feel your energy around me and I wonder, are you thinking of me too? You guys are going to think about each other a lot. Okay. Always on each other's minds. Okay. I am walking home to you. I'm not sure where I am on the path, but I am walking it. Knight of Wands. They don't even know exactly how they're going to make it happen, but they know they want it to happen and they are coming towards you. Nothing is going to stop this connection. This is how you know. This person is going to be determined. Okay, let's see. There's no feeling stuck or trapped here. They're walking the path to you. 
Okay. The next solstice or equin <coughs> excuse me, equinox will bring an important shift <clears throat> for us. Timing and attention. <clears throat> going to be a shift here between you and this person when it comes to a lot that you two are going to have going on but I still keep feeling like no matter what you two deal with it's like you always either come back to each other or are thinking about each other and going right back to that path it's like you two are happy when you're together this is how you'll know I'm not going to give into fear. I know fear is only an illusion. What I tell you, this person is not playing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how hard, how long it takes. If they see the path clearly or not, or if there are obstacles in the way, they're not going to give into fear. This is how you'll know. But this is the right person for you. Okay. We have two here. Initials B E J Y R. W and U. This person is romantic. This person will want to take you out, wine and dine you, go on vacations, travel, just give just because, do little things just because. They don't need a reason to show you they care, to be sweet. They'll do it just because. Very committed, very focused. This is how you'll know. Let's see. Educated, articulate, well-rounded. This person has college degrees or a degree. Okay. Let's get one more. Suit and tie, successful, businessman, well-dressed. This person is all about their business, making money, making sure they can provide, making sure you two can have the security that you both want, that happily ever after. This person is very brave and um, very go for it type energy. Okay, this person could be a Sagittarius. Let's get more here. Pisces was on the bottom. Let's see. Look at that. <laughs> Pisces. <laughs> All right. This person could be a Pisces for some of you out there. All right. That fish was ready to come out. That's that energy. This person's going to show up. They're going to be there. Like you're not keeping me at the bottom. You have not met me yet. Some of you have yet to meet this person. This is a new person coming in. Let's get one more. Very happy. That beautiful sun energy. This person is very positive, uplifting. You're going to love to be around this person. That might be even more reason why you are going to feel like, whoa, I need to slow down. Let it happen naturally because you might be so excited and be just in that moment where you just, it, you know, you both want it to take off, right? But needing to slow it down. Let's see. Let's get to here. Oh, there we go. All right, you have a way of making the world feel like a happier place. Very positive person, very positive energy. All right, that, that could be how uh, you make them feel. But I feel like your person is very, 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 very positive. You bring so much joy into my life, happiness all around. You both make each other so happy. Relieve the, the stress lighten the load this is how you'll know okay this is a go-getter this is someone who is very driven focused smart knows a lot has a lot to bring to the table but knows how to be happy and knows how to have fun okay Waiting for love. You'll know this is the right person for you because some of you are going to feel like you've been waiting for this person for so long. 
You've been waiting, waiting, waiting for that love, for this person. Again, more reason to slow down. Because there's going to be this natural wanting to go for it. I'm in. Let's go. Let's take off. It's gonna, You guys are going to have that feeling. Which is why, you know, you need to kind of pull in the reins here. Because just let it happen naturally. There's a lot of happiness here that you have been waiting for. Let's look at the bottom. Lost and found. This This person... For those of you who don't know this person, this person's going to come in at a time, again, where you feel like I've been waiting, 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 lost, but now found. The time is right. Look at that. So much fun, excitement here. Lost and found love. Okay. Let's get one of these. Let's see what we get here. How will Paul Four know this is the right person for them? How will they know? This one wants to come out. Cosmic plan. Yeah, there's a web here being weaved. This is going to happen when it's right. The right time, the right place, the right person. I guess I should get one more. Okay. Okay, here we go. Beautiful card. Orbs of light, spirit realm. Wow. Some of you are really going to be divinely guided to this person. Again, it's a cosmic plan here. Okay, the energy between you and this person. Again, it's going to be so positive. This person is going to make you feel things that you've never felt before. It really just, it, it brightens you up. It lightens you up. Orbs of light. It is very positive here. This is how you'll know that this is the right person for you. All right, pile four. That's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any videos upcoming. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.